Welcome to this video about custom CSV reports in ABB Ability Building Analyzer. A CSV report is a text file you can import into a spreadsheet or database. As you can see, it consists of a set of columns, with a row for each meter, sensor, etc. A CSV report allows you to combine your energy consumption with attributes and perform dynamic calculations for different use cases. Let's see how to build a custom CSV report from scratch. Click the Custom Reports application in the main menu and in the drop-down menu here, select CSV Reports. The reports which have already been created or shared with you will appear in this area. To create a custom CSV report, click New Report. The dialog window is almost the same as for PDF reports. First, enter the report name. Next, set up a time period. For CSV reports, unlike PDF reports, you can only set up a single period for the whole document. Then, you can select the template or start creating your custom report column by column. To add a column and specify its details, click Add Column. In the first drop-down menu, choose the column type. All column types are predefined on the system, except for attribute value and dynamic calculation, which are customized for each customer. First, let's add start and end date. You can see that for every column, the system automatically adds a heading and a unique column ID. For predefined columns, you can modify them as you wish. For example, let's choose a node utility and change its name to utility. Then let's add an attribute value. For attribute values, you must rename them according to the list of attributes for your project. Note that if you're configuring these reports yourself, Request this list from the person who configured your system. We'll enter our first attribute, Premises Supply. Let's do the same thing for the business group. Ben Meter ID, whose official name is MRN in the system. Don't forget that you can always drag the columns to reorder them. Now let's add other fixed parameters like meter name, and total consumption. Let's also add another attribute for electricity recharge rate. As we are going to do some math with this attribute, let's rename the column with a shorter name to reference it more easily. Then let's add our first dynamic calculation for rate-based costs. Let's change the heading here and the column ID as we're going to use it in further calculations. In the field below, we're going to calculate the rate-based costs. For that, multiply the column ID of the total consumption by the column ID of the electricity recharge rate. Let's click Save and then add the last attribute for our report, an overhead rate for which we will also modify the column ID. Finally, let's finish this report with two dynamic calculations. The first one, overhead costs. To calculate them, multiply the column ID of rate-based costs by the column ID of the overhead rate. And the last one is total recharge costs. For that, Add the column ID of the rate-based costs to the column ID of the overhead costs. The last thing to do before saving your report is to filter the meters and attributes you want to include into the report. To do this, click Attributes Query. For example, let's filter the attribute of premises supplied to the ABB Dublin office. With regard to utility, let's choose Electricity. Finally, if you want to target meters with a certain rate, configure the overhead rate here. We highly recommend you send an attribute query, as otherwise all meters on the site will be included in the report. When you are satisfied with your report, click Save. When your report is ready, you can download it immediately.
It will also be available in your report list where you could download, edit, share, or delete it. Here is what the final result looks like. Just like PDF reports, CSV reports can also be saved as a template and scheduled to run on a regular basis.